Hello, everyone. Welcome to your partner in education, Agile Rank Mate. Today, we're going to be looking at another episode of Kitty Toolkit. Now, the Kalinga Institute of Industrial Technology is a private deemed to be university in India, and in order to enter this university, you need to write the KIIT entrance exam. Now, in this episode, we're going to be looking at some questions which are a sample of what could be expected from the exam. In this particular episode, we will be dealing with questions of chemistry. So let's start off. Here's our first question. The ratio of the frequency corresponding to the third line in the Lyman series of hydrogen atomic spectrum to that of the first line in the Balmer series of lithium 2 plus spectrum is 4x5, 5x4, 4x3, 3x4. So, how do we solve this question? Well, first of all, we're dealing with two frequencies here, and we have to find their ratio. Now, frequency number one is that of the third line in the Lyman series of the hydrogen atomic spectrum. Now, for the Lyman series, N1 would be equal to 1. And the third line would correspond to 1 plus 3. So the value of N2 will be equal to 1 plus 3, that's 4. And the atomic number of hydrogen is 1. So now that we know all of these values, how do we calculate frequency? Well, it's simple. We need to use the formula for frequency Let's write this as frequency number 1. We'll write the formula for frequency as c over lambda, where c is the speed of light, lambda is the wavelength. But how do we incorporate these values? Well, if you remember, for the atomic spectra, the formula to find 1 by lambda was rh, that's the Rydberg constant, times z squared, and then inside the bracket, you'll have 1 by n1 squared minus 1 by n2 squared. So we just have to multiply c to this formula in order to get the frequency. So again, since we're looking at a ratio here, we don't need to find out the values of c or the Rydberg constant. So moving on, um, let's apply the values. So c can be multiplied with RH. Both of them are constants and we don't need to worry about them. The value of Z is 1, so Z squared will also be 1. And inside the second bracket, we have 1 upon 1 squared minus 1 upon 4 squared. So 1 times the bracket gives you the bracket itself, so we don't need to worry about it. So C times RH, and inside the bracket, 1 upon 1 squared is 1 upon 1, so that's just plain old 1. 1 upon 4 square is 1 upon 16. So we have 1 minus 1 by 16 inside the bracket, which is the same thing as 16 minus 1. And that difference is divided by 16, which is equal to 15 over 16. So the value of the first frequency is 15 over 16 times the speed of light times the Rydberg constant. So this is what we get. Now we have to find out the second frequency. For that, we're looking at the first line in the Balmer series of Li2 plus spectrum. Now lithium, whether it exists as an atom or an ion, will have an atomic number of 3. For the Balmer series, N1 will be equal to 2. And since we're looking at the first line after the base, so N2 will also be equal to 3. So let's write them down here. So first line of the Balmer series of the Li2 plus spectrum, you would have N2 equals 3, N1 equals 2, and the value of z is equal to 3. So, 
we will use the same formula here. Frequency 2 will be C over lambda, which again is C times RH. And then inside the bracket, you have Z squared times 1 by N1 squared minus 1 by N2 squared. So we'll plug in the values for this one. C and RH are constants. We don't need to know their values. Z is 3, so therefore Z squared is 9. Um, N1 is 2, so 1 by N1 square is 1 by 4. And N2 is 3, so N2 square would be 9. So what we do now is we multiply the numerator towards the bracket. We multiply 9 to every element in the bracket. So 9 times 1 by 4 is 9 by 4. Minus 9 times 1 by 9 gives you 1. So 9 by 4 minus 1, which is the same thing as 9 minus 4 over 4. So therefore, the value of the second frequency will be 5 over 4 times the speed of light times the Rydberg constant. Now remember, we're looking to find the ratio. So for the ratio, we divide frequency 1 over frequency 2. So when we do that, we get 15 over 16 CRH. Let's uh, write it down clearly. 15 over 16 CRH over 5 by 4 CRH. So we can cancel CRH. We have the two fractions to be divided. So we do it like this. 5 goes into 15 thrice. 4 goes into 16 four times. So therefore, the ratio frequency 1 over frequency 2 is equal to 3 over 4. So 3 over 4 is the final answer that we needed to find out. If we look at our options, it is clear that option D, 3 over 4, is the correct option, because that's the option that we got by calculating frequency 1 and frequency 2 and then dividing them. The other options are incorrect because either the numerator or the denominator, or in some cases even both, are incorrect. So, let's look at another question. The volume of neon gas in centimeter cube at standard temperature and pressure having the same number of atoms as that present in 800 milligrams of calcium is. We have the atomic mass of calcium as 40, atomic mass of neon as 20. So, how do we solve this question? Now here, we need to first calculate the number of atoms in 800 milligrams of calcium. And then, using that same number of atoms, we will calculate the volume of neon gas. Now, this question right here uses the mole concept because um, two elements, the two samples with the same number of atoms would have the same number of moles. So basically, we only need to find out the number of moles in order to convert the values given here. So, the given mass of calcium is 800 milligrams. The atomic mass is 40. So therefore, the number of moles for calcium would be 800, the given mass, divided by 40. But since 800 is in milligrams, we have to multiply 40 with 1,000. So again, we can cut out the two zeros. It goes into 45 times. So what we get is 1 by 50, which is 0 0.02 moles. Now, according to the question, number of moles of calcium is equal to the number of moles of neon, which is equal to 0 0.02 moles. So therefore, 
we will now use the value of the number of moles, which is 0 0.02, in order to find out the volume. Now, when, in order to find out volume, let's look at what one volume, I mean one mole of a gas, occupies. So one mole of any gas occupies 22,400 centimeter cubes of space, or volume in this case. So therefore, 0 0.02 moles of neon gas will occupy 0 0.02 times 22,400 centimeter cubes. So, which is basically 2 by 100 times 22,400, cancel out the zeros, 2 times 224 gives you 448 centimeter cubes. So that's the volume of the neon gas. So the volume of neon gas is 448 centimeter cubes when you have 0 0.02 moles of neon gas present. It is the same number of moles as that present in 800 milligrams of calcium. So again, for, the, for questions having the same number of atoms, it's not always necessary to calculate the number of atoms as it is, because calculating the number of moles would do the exact, would be helpful as well, because again, the mole is basically a unit to describe a specific number of substances namely 6.02 into 10 raised to 23. So, that concludes today's episode. We hope you found it very interesting and informative. For accessing more of our educational content, you can always subscribe to our channel, Agile Rank Mate. If you did like the video, then please don't forget to share it and if you want to access more of our interesting content, which, which will be uploaded soon, then you can always hit the notifications icon present below the video. So, until the next episode, stay alert, take care, bye-bye for now.